Hey guys, what's going on? Steggy here with a video review of the Antec Sound Science 2.1 Raucous Speaker System. Now, Antec has been a big player in the computer parts market for a long time. Many who create a custom built computer will find Antec components inside, whether it be a case, a power supply, heatsink, etc. Recently, Antec has stepped into the PC speaker market with a subsidiary company called Sound Science and their inaugural product, the Raucous 2.1 Sound System. The Raucous aims to tackle many tasks the consumer runs into on the day to day movie streaming, music playing, and gaming. What sets the Sound Science Raucous 2.1 from the competition is the implementation of 3D SST, Sound Science's proprietary virtual surround sound decoding technology. This technology aims to expand the sound field of the speakers, creating a realistic 3D environment for movies and gaming, without wires running across the floor from a 5.1 setup. The Raucous's MSRP is set at $200, but looking on Amazon, you can currently purchase a Raucous for $150. For reference in this review, I pitted the Raucous 2.1 against my Swan M10, another 2.1 speaker system at a comparable price point. So how does the Raucous fare? Well let's jump into the design first. The Raucous 2.1 follows a standard 2.1 design. Inside the box includes a 100 watt subwoofer, two 25 watt satellites, and various cables. You get a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable, a 3.5mm to RCA cable, and an RCA to speaker wire cable to connect the subwoofer to the satellites. The subwoofer is the hub for all the connections and accept inputs via RCA, 3.5mm, and Toslink. This allows you to connect a range of devices to the speaker set without causing headaches from constant connecting and disconnecting. The speaker system itself goes for a space age type of look, featuring anodized aluminum on the satellite speakers. They have a good amount of heft to them and it's very evident that the build quality was kept in mind with the Raucous. The Raucous features a wired control pod that allows you to have some of the controls off of the speakers themselves and right onto your desk, being as readily available as your mouse. One of the irritating aspects of the Swan M10 speakers is that all of the controls are on the subwoofer itself. Most people who use a 2.1 system have the subwoofer on their floor, and when I attempted that, it was bothersome to crawl under my desk to turn the speaker on and off and fiddle with the subwoofer dial or even fiddle with the master volume on them. Antec takes some of this hassle away with the control pod. On it, you have a master volume dial, which also acts as a mute and unmute button, and then you have a button which switches between the inputs between analog and digital connections, as well as toggling on the 3D SST feature. This definitely brings more ease of use than the Swans, but I feel like Antec can go even further with the control pod idea. In a future iteration, I'd really like to see things like a subwoofer dial and a power switch on the control pod, because without that, you still have to go to the subwoofer for these controls, which will require you to be mindful of its location during setup. I'd also like to see an implementation of a headphone jack like I've seen on some other speaker systems. Even if you're spending a decent sum of money on a speaker set, there are times when private listening is needed, and it saves headaches if you don't have to keep unplugging and replugging in your speakers to plug in headphones. The sound of the Raucous 2.1 surprised me, but not really in a good way. When using the speaker set in multiple applications, I found the actual clarity to be satisfactory. There is a good amount of separation in the sound, which is important if one of your applications with a speaker set is gaming though the highs were a little bit tinny. However, my real beef lies with the low end of the system. When I describe the sound of headsets, I sometimes reference turning the bass dial on a subwoofer when discussing low ends. Most people associate a subwoofer with having a strong and present bass in a sound system. If you want that home theater sound, a 2.0 system will not provide that oomph that a 2.1 can. Much to my surprise though, the Raucous 2.1 subwoofer has failed to deliver in this aspect. The subwoofer would only dole out the very low bass, where it seemed almost seismic where I'd be feeling the bass more than hearing it. It sounded like there was a chunk missing from the lower mid-range down to the lows until you hit that real low bass point, which caused a pretty hollow sound overall. This occurred on the three levels that the subwoofer was set to. In a future iteration, I would like to see the tonal chunk that's currently missing to fill up, and I'd also like to see the three-level switch in the subwoofer turn into a bass dial. From my experience with the Swan M10s, the dial gives you a little bit more control about that amount of bass that you have. Uh, it's like comparing a light switch to a dimmer. As stated earlier, the Raucous 2.1 comes equipped with 3D SST, Sound Science's proprietary virtual surround sound technology. The virtual surround sound can be applied towards the different inputs the Raucous has, including the optical. However, so there's no mistake, 3D SST is a stereo expander. It doesn't take a 5.1 signal like an Astro Mix Amp or a Turtle Beach DSS. If you connect your Xbox to the Raucous via optical, make sure to go in the audio settings on your dashboard and set the digital output to stereo audio, otherwise you won't be getting sound. With that said though, 3D SST worked well. 
When turning on the switch, the sound became more spacious, and in gaming I had no problem locating enemies. However, I did experience one problem when playing. For testing, I had my desktop connected to the RCA port of the Rockus, and my Xbox connected via the optical port. As it turns out, there's some sort of cross wire within my subwoofer because sounds play opposite one another when connected via optical connection. When connected through analog, the right sound is sent out to the right speaker, and the left sound is sent to the left. But when switched to optical connection, the left signal is sent to the right speaker and, you know, the other way around. I'm sure this was just an isolated occurrence in my test unit. All I had to do was keep the speakers connected in the switched way since my Xbox would remain connected via optical, and I was set. Having the sound reversed in music wasn't that big of a deal to me. With this in mind though, if you find yourself owning a pair of raucous speakers, I would check this just to make sure that you aren't having reverse sounds as well. So with everything said, what are we left with? Well, there are definite opportunities for the speaker set, but all in all I think that the Rockus 2.1 is a good first stab from Sound Signs. I think that a lot of the features and options Sound Signs is going for with the Rockus is the direction in which 2.1 speakers should be going in. Now more than ever we have multiple tasks for products while desiring convenience. The Rockus brings us with the implementation of virtual surround sound for game and movie use and implementing a control pod to bring the controls of the speaker right in front of you. However, the speakers aren't perfect. It would have been more of a difficult sell if it had remained at $200 MSRP, but at around $150, it's a pretty good price point. Some 2.1 speakers trump the Rockus in some aspects, and the Rockus trumps some speakers in others. On a pure sound fidelity basis, I like my Swan M10s, but on the basis of convenience of use, the Rockus trumps it in that regard thanks to the control pod. It all depends what you're looking for in your 2.1 system. But what's nice is that the Rockus is the only 2.1 system I'm currently seeing right now aiming towards the gaming market by taking advantage of virtual surround sound, something I've seen other companies implement in headsets or soundbars, but not in 2.1 systems. Feature-wise, the system is great. Sound quality-wise, it can improve. I definitely think that an eye should be kept on this company, as I'm sure we can expect better and better products to come along. If Sound Science is going to revisit the 2.1 market with another iteration, I would like to see the virtual surround sound be taken further with 5.1 decoding. I would also like to see them take the idea of the control pod further, and most importantly, I'd like to get that full warm sound one would expect from a 2.1 system. But for now, if you're in the market for a 2.1 speaker system looking to cater to the needs of a gamer, check out the Rockus 2.1 at SoundScienceAudio.com. So once again, this is Steggy with a video review of the Antec Sound Science Rockus 2.1 speaker system. If you liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you really like this video, please hit that favorite button down below as it really does help me out. And be sure to like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mlgsteggy and follow me on Twitter at mlgsteggy where you can catch all of the updates to my latest reviews and videos. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one, I will catch you later.